Hey guys, Jeremy Wells here. Today I'm going to talk about how the body tilts as it rotates, both on the backswing, on the downswing, and into the follow through. During our backswing, for every degree that we turn, our left shoulder is going to tilt lower than our right. If we turn our shoulders level, we're going to either stand up or we're going to sway off the ball to make room to do so. So if you're swaying or if you're losing posture, check out how your shoulders and hips turn on the way back. They should both be, excuse me, the left side should be lower than the right in all cases. As you start forward, your left shoulder will stay lower than your right as will your left hip until you're at least halfway through your downswing. From that point, your hips should be open, shoulders should be back to square, somewhat close, and you should be getting ready to extend through the golf shot. Into your finish, your right shoulder will be slightly lower than your left. Okay, so we're always tilting as we're rotating. I got a little drill here to help out. I have a quarter circle with alignment sticks just tracked on the ground. And what I'm going to do is trace the grip into this club around that circle. You'll notice my knees have changed flex. You'll notice my hips are tilted just like my shoulders. As I start forward, I'm going to make sure I trace the same circle through the first part of my downswing. My hips are leading, my shoulders are following, but they're following on an angle. As I'm starting to get closer to impact, I'm gonna to begin to elevate and extend through the shot. You'll notice my right shoulder is pointed down to the ground. It's up to you. You can come out of that if you want, but that's what I'm gonna be going for. After feeling that a few times, I'll go ahead and try to do it with a golf club in my hand. Alright, so I hope that gives you guys a different way to think about things if you happen to be swaying or standing up in your swing helped me a lot to get my path more neutral, less in to out. It's also helped me to stay much more centered where I can make the biggest turn I want to make without losing the golf ball. Let me know if uh, you have any questions on that or if there's any other topics you want me to cover in the future. Thank you.